everybody, welcome to another Triumcraft Tuesday video. In this video I am scrapbooking with one of the new Paper Addicts paper pads. This is the Tropical Bliss one. Just quickly though, I just want to squeeze in. I've had a lack of videos over the past couple of weeks and I just want to apologise for that. It, the past month or so has just been now and busyness and all sorts of things going on and it's probably going to be like that for the next couple of weeks as well. So hopefully you will bear with me, I'll, I'm trying to get a video up when I can, but yeah, just busy, 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 busy. Once the summer is over, I think things will settle down again. But anyways, just wanted to squeeze that in. As I said, let's talk about what I'm doing. So I've started with just a white 12 by 12 background, and then I picked out this paper here, which is sort of inspired me for this layout. I think it's my favourite one in this paper pad. This is this blue and off-white sort of... Moroccan tiles sort of paper. I just I think it's really really pretty So I just wanted to cut up some of these squares and then rearrange them on the paper I've cut the squares up in the same way that they are on the paper. So they're not precise They're like slightly wonky. So if you're looking at it going Grace, your cutting skills are not very good it, It's on purpose that they're wonky. I promise you but yes, so then I'm just gonna arrange those I had no idea what I was gonna do going in. I just sort of put them vaguely in places on the paper and then I was kind of happy with that so just big clusters at the top and bottom corners and then just adding I think I just add one in each other corner just to balance everything out and then every single one of those pieces I'm just going to pop on with a little foam square well actually a foam rectangle they're the ones you know you can get in the works and Poundland really really cheap with a roll of foam tape as well I go through these like you wouldn't believe but especially doing stuff like this anyways so yes one of those um, per square and then I'm trying to keep the lines as straight as possible. There I'm just using my new Dovecraft pickup tool because every time I went to like pick up one one of the squares I was like knocking other ones out of the way and that pickup tool actually unlike many other pickup tools can actually pick up large-ish fussy cut pieces so that's why I'm using that in case you were wondering but yes yeah, just popping those all on as I said trying to keep vaguely straight lines because I knew I wanted to do a little bit of stitching on this layout as well so just fast forward did did fast forward did did oh dear um yeah skipped a bit <laughs> to the end of that and those bits are all down and then here I'm just showing you I went off to my sewing machine and stitched around the whole layout and between some of the tiles as well just to add um some more texture and stuff this is a really simple layout so I feel like adding extra texture and stuff just really helps to finish it off so I'm just going to back my photo here. This is a photo of my little brother and I I did, if you saw at the beginning, I was originally, I did have a picture of my cat that I was going to scrapbook with, with this paper pad, but then I just changed my mind. I thought the tiles didn't quite work for a cat photo, so I just grabbed this picture of my brother and I out of my big box of photos. I trimmed it down a little bit because it was a bit big and bulky and then I am happy with that. And then just really light embellishing on this one because obviously with all those tiles it's kind of busy enough but I just wanted to fussy cut out a few little bits and pieces from the pad so I cut out some of these parrots because I thought those would work because Sam bless him he quite likes parrots especially these particular ones is it a green wing macaw or something I don't know Sam would know he knows all the birds and all the different species and stuff but anyways he likes parrots so I thought that would work and then I also cut out the toucans not that he has a particular affinity for toucans or anything it's just that they were there and they they would work as well I thought the two parrots on their own just looked a little bit lost so I added the little toucans as well and I'm just popping those over the tiles with some tacky glue and then next up oh no gonna cut out another toucan that's actually from a different paper you probably see that that toucan is ever so slightly larger than the other ones I cut out just thought it would help balance out things if I had different sizes of embellishments and then just popping those guys on there and then here I wanted to add some splatters in the background and I kind of wanted them coming out from the photo so I thought I'd add the splatters before I added the photo down that is distress oxide spray in ah, um maybe faded jeans but I could be wrong the correct name will be 
in the description box. And then to stick down my photo, I'm using the foam tape, the same foam tape that comes with those foam rectangles, so it's exactly the same thickness, and then added glue around the edges for where it's stuck onto the tiles that were already sticking up. Now for my title, I'm using these new sort of uh, Scrabble letter tiles from Dovecraft, the gold ones. I've messed around at first trying to think of a more interesting title and I'm rubbish at titles, I really am. So I just went with Sam and I thought that would work as well because if Sam sees this layout, he'll be able to recognise his name. He doesn't really read, but he can read his name. So I just thought that would work quite well. And then with that very simple title, I thought a couple of little phrasey stickers would help just balance that out, add some more words to the layout. So I just have this sticker book here that I bought from Hobbycraft, just added you and me, and that's got blue and gold on, which is, you know, other things that are on the layout already. Smile and woohoo. And then some of these white star stickers I thought I'd add onto the photo just to sort of lighten up that dark area of the photo like I was wearing a black top or something so there's quite a dark corner and I thought those stars just lifted it up a little bit and here I'm going to finish off with some Nouveau drops in the colour navy blue I'm pretty sure it's navy blue and with that this layout is complete so yeah really really short and simple one today but these paper addicts pads are really good for doing that with layouts, like you can make really, really simple things if you just cut out a few bits and pieces, fussy cut out some embellishments and you've kind of got a layout pretty much ready made for you. So there we go, thank you so, so much for watching. As always, I will leave links to the products down in the description box below, as well as links to Trimcraft as well. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, chat to me down in the comments and I will hopefully have another video up for you soon. Hopefully. Okay, I'm going. Thanks again. Bye-bye.